Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition where <laughs> I decided to drink some water right as I started. Um we're gonna go kick Saren in the figurative metaphorical teeth. At least get his friggin' stuff revoked. <laughs> his specter status revoked. Heck. Two Presidium, perfect. Coming up in a report later today, I... Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime scene. There we go. Da, 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 da. These load times are faster. I, they're probably they they probably could be almost whoa uh, instantaneous. I guess with the buffs they've done. I swear you'd have like conversation or the news things go off and you'd still sit there for a bit like. So how are you mm -hmm. liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wars. Yeah, it's the busiest station on the Citadel. You'll never get bored. I guess not, but we could still use a few more men. That's why we brought you here. Sure, but there's still way more complaints than the officers can handle. That's just life near the wards, kid. You'll get used to it. Kid, he says to an Asari. And it's fair, though. He could be like, I don't know, 80. And she could be, well, she might not be 20. She might be 20. I don't know. I don't think they're, don't think they're let off the planet. <laughs> you warriors messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turians sterilizing your people? All the time. I was gonna say, probably, like, Rex doesn't stop talking about it, so I can only imagine me. Well, Rex is, like, well, not, maybe not fairly unique, but kind of unique in his position. Um, but yeah, no. I was, gonna, I was gonna say, Rex wouldn't bring that up to be, like, cool, necessarily, to, like... To tally, uh, just being like, "Hey, do you guys talk about it? We talk about ours." <laughs> I think this is the Citadel Tower one, in front of the relay. I know where I'm going. It's like I've been here. Usually, I can't, like, map it out in my head, like, over, like, too much, but if I'm, like, in an area, I can. Sarah would already be in custody if you'd gone straight to the council with your information. A lone quarian with no credentials? The council would laugh me out of the chambers. That is, if Saren hadn't killed me by then. Yeah, there's no way she would have gotten in. In no way. Maybe I should bring, like, Caden or something to these types of things, but this is just what I do. Once I acquire Rex and Tally, uh, it's just kind of how it rolls. Sometimes I'll switch it up and bring out, I think, Caden and Garrus as, as a squad. But Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move, but the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next Hanna. to the Elkhorn. What? You may be right. Well, that are you guys stupid? Up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Are you... The Volus literally run the economy. They should have been there already. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Her name's Tally. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. There's your proof. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. He's so dramatic. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She looks very sad and surprised. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. 
Matriarch Benizia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about That's them? That's what he says, Only and then he throws it aside. The, Geth's memory core. the Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out I mean, all that's life in the fair. Galaxy. That's fair. Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? We've explored like 5% of the galaxy. We found something. Maybe you just haven't. That's the problem is we actually do have some evidence of them. Like, I think there's like a giant scar on a planet that we'll go to, like, that you can just observe from space. And it's like this massive, like, laser obliterating ray that's like cut a canyon across the planet and everything. And plus, I think the Batarians at this point have, have found a husk of a, of a Reaper. Um. But, it's like, you, you may have evidence, you just don't realize what you're looking at. Plus, and this is people's, like, whole thing for, like, trying to go back to Milky Way Galaxy in Mass Effect 5, which I totally abhor and will fight with every fiber of my being. Um, but that we've only explored, like, five, like in Mass Effect, they say, like, in 1, 2, and 3, we've only explored, like, 5% of the known galaxy, you know? So there's still, like, so many things we could go look at. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's truth. They're AI! A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Like, it's not... Like, they have to... They have to have something. You know what I mean? Like, they're not just gonna, like believe a story without some sort of, like, codified proof, you know? 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Well, what if they were Turian colonies or Asari colonies? We wouldn't be stupid enough to expand into unknown regions of space. Well, Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Oh, he's pissed. His jaw. Little wings, his winglets. Commander Shepard. <gasps> Ooh, step the forward. best music. Thank you, Captain. I'm saluting in real life. Thank you. It's me. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. 
I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. The thing is, is they do all of this, right? And it's like super inspiring music, but they don't, <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like I'm never really much beholden to the Council. I feel like the Alliance definitely has more sway over me, and that's because they contact me so much. <laughs> like, they're like, Shepard, freaking hack it here. You know, and you're like, ah, it happens everywhere you go. But this, the council's just like, go get Sarah. And to be fair, you're supposed to be fairly self-reliant, as they said. But, like, also, you'd think they'd pick specters that are like, I don't know. Maybe it's not about loyalty to them as the council, more as loyalty to, like, the safety of the galaxy. I don't know. It's just interesting. I don't feel like, I mean, they check up on me, obviously, after every main mission, but still. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files. See, to that's not Dina. okay. This meeting of the council is adjourned. I'm supposed to be directly to, through the council, and they're like, we'll give it to Udina. It's a concession. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Thanks! Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this it's up. It's like Christmas for Udina. Anderson's like, ah, no! <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre! I think now, yeah, I have Spectre training. Health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and power. Oh, Unity! That's the one that brings back dead dead squad mates. Maybe I'll unlock that. Since I think it'll probably happen a lot. Oh, I do need barrier. I need barrier. That's what it is. We did it! We're a brand spanking new shiny specter. Is that guy here yet? The guy whose brother is that him? I think that's him. Maybe. But I wouldn't believe everything you hear. That's just it. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated what? rumors. Oh. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like I mean, that without the Were you not meeting? just listening? Maybe the council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that to. I know. But if it's true, shouldn't we be doing something about it? No, and I'll thank you to keep me out of it if you Coward! Can. You're in a position of power. You got. You are obligated to do something. I'm on a break. Yeah. Talk to someone else if you need anything. Mm. I've got a lot on my mind. It's okay. I'm commander up in your face in your grill getting into your business. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. I mean, he's a good brother, right? Like, ooh, it, it. Yeah, you, you would be happy to have a brother like this guy at least looking out for you, you know, try, trying to find you, even if you're gone. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew, but he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely, but they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. I'm like, he's not blinking enough, but then he did. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. If your brother is still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find I always him. hate inquiring about a reward. You usually get one anyway, and it just makes you sound like a, like a jerk. Can we talk to Kohaku yet? Wait, wait, he's up here. Now that I'm... Oh yeah, certain things have unlocked now that I'm a Spectre. Like, quest-wise. And, uh, classification-wise, I guess. Um, 
No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council. What up? Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kahoku. Kahoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Hey, listen. I'm not just here for the Alliance now, is the thing. Also, I feel like it's the kind of thing where, like, I mean, the Alliance did want a Spectre, a human Spectre, but it's also, like, I don't think they fully understand that, like, I think you're basically, like, out of whatever, like, military organization you were in and into the Spectres as its own group. Like, anything they ask you to do comes first, you know? But Hackett's all like, you were human first and alliance first. Dur, dur, dur. Now you can solve all humanity's problems. I'm like, that's not how it works. <laughs> I'm here to help everybody, not just humans. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly, it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. Is it... It seems like it's not coming from the Alliance end of things. It's coming from, like, maybe the council ish end of things. that They've restricted it. Because he's here and not in, like, Alliance headquarters. I'll find them, Admiral. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. He is an admiral. It's. I'll upload the info. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Ships. Maybe you can get some answers. It's it's kind of crazy what ends up happening to him. Like he's an admiral. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. Mm. Not a lot of security here. Not that you can see. Anything. And the one there's a sniper tracking our every step. Especially with a Krogan in our group, because people are like, well, and a Quarian, you know? They're like, because people are racist! I just, I can't. The freaking reflections on the ground are just blowing my mind. Like, even from a distance, it's just like... The accurate reflections that you can just kind of see out of the corner of your eye. Water could use some work, but you know, I ain't too picky at this point. But these floating petals, I think the original one had them too, but... I'm a big fan, big fan. I think it's very pretty. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Uh -huh. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly <laughs> cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yeah, it's fine. We just cut off communication inten intentionally. Definitely. Like, just say people have gone missing. Oh, yeah, it got, it got added. Sometimes those news bursts will give you quests. Like something you hear out of the corner of your ear, you're like, hmm, that's interesting. And then while you're out and about, you're like, hmm, we are in the Hades Gamma Cluster. What am I doing here? Frick. I didn't want to come here. Kind of. I, well, kind of. I did, I guess. I need to get to Seasec Academy so I can get my ship. Not that... Welcome oh, to that's not... Tourism tur for your I messed up. This I, terminal is programmed with information. I that's don't. I don't. Thank I'm so sorry. Avena. I'm sorry. Have a pleasant day. I got distracted. I just poked Avina because she had a keeper next to her. And I was associating it with that keeper, I think. Because I think there's a... Yeah, there's a travel thing right here. My brain was busy doing other things. Anyway, I wish they'd just let you pop into your ship, but they don't. Um, like, you can't just fast travel to your ship where it's parked. You gotta, like, go to CSEC and go to that central tower. And that took me so long to figure out, honestly. In breaking news, Chairman wait, 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 wait. Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies oh. has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. I can go find him, too. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. I think I can go talk... I think I can talk to Anderson. Oh, maybe, th maybe they're here. Um, I mean, they are here, obviously, but I thought you could maybe go to, their, uh, to the office, but maybe not. Maybe not. 
I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer no! of the Nominee. The ship is yours now. No, Anderson! She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. <laughs> I got you, Captain. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Ferros and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Captain! I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia. Oh, the yeah. other voice on that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring Arch an archaeological oh, dig on one of uh, the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I think because she's an archaeologist, a lot of people expect me to be like super like into Liara, and I like her. I like I like the idea of Liara, but I actually find her to be a rather bland and boring character in, in a lot of ways. I think they could have done a lot more with her, but she's uh, just kind of not as interesting as anybody else in my personal... Maybe I have too high expectations for her as an archaeologist, but... Also, her voice. I know people really like her. Really like her voice, but I don't. That might be part of it. Is I just feel her voice is very like me mechanized. Like she just talks very. I don't know. Like very. I don't know. I just. I just don't find her voice. It's very like her voice is very monotone to me. I think, and it's just like, and her face doesn't do much. Like I don't know. But I always get a little excited because I'm like archaeologist. You know. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Dad! But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. Oh, calm down. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Shut Spectre. Shut up! <laughs> I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. You're welcome for this new power play position that you have. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really they isn't... They can't just push him aside. You're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be. Also, you, Udina doesn't have any real power over what Anderson does. Like, they're in complete... Like, Udina doesn't have any military, like, you know, ranking or whatever. Um, so you can't, he can't just decide this stuff on his own. And maybe Captain Anderson does feel like for the greater good, he needs to step aside to make things easier for me. But it's also just not fair. Like, he's a very decorated man. Like, get him a different ship. Like, put him on some other ship. You know what I mean? Like, you could give him one or let him work with somebody. I don't know, but he's a very good resource to waste. Tell I, me what happened with you and Saren 20 you can't, years You ago. shouldn't waste it. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology oh, yeah. out in the world. Alliance Intel had done all the work, 
but the council wanted a Spectrum involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Yeah, well, sneaking back out with somebody like that is going to be incredibly difficult. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the spec. That's so dumb. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the council needed to kill my chances of becoming a specter. Uh, if you've read the book, like it's, Saren wasn't quite as extremist. He wasn't quite as unhinged, let's say. Uh, he was still pretty extremist. Um, as he was, as he is now, but he did definitely had it out, have it out for humans, and did not think that they were ready at all to be in the Spectres, regardless of whatever Anderson did. So he did, like he didn't care necessarily about the the deaths, at least as far as I remember. He he wasn't necessarily like, oh, this. I think he wasn't necessarily like this. Will I can pin this on Anderson? But he was more than happy to pin it on Anderson. Mostly, he was just like, uh, this is a cool, cold, calculating way to get this done. And then, oh, let's pin it on Anderson and, and shoot his chances of being a Spectre in the foot, you know? Like, not a very nice guy. Anderson is not just, like, you know, having a bias skewed towards himself. Like, it's legit. <laughs> don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. <laughs> I blame Seth. I don't. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the spectrum. Oh wait! If so, he I think them. he was. I think Saren was actually covering up something, something else in the refinery that he didn't want to be found out. I think that's maybe where he found out about the Reapers a little bit and like wanted to cover it up or something. I think that's what it was. I think he actually wanted to cover up something. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to, me, or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right. It's no good. It's so abrupt. I don't know. Like, right there. Like, it's like... Uh, that whole sequence, like, that, that ending sequence is awkward. I don't know. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Oh, so the Geth, uh, so we know that the Geth attacked? Because uh, I don't think that's not what what's-his-name said. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Sounds right. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back, Rasha. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. I should go. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Bye, Dad. Dad, I'll see you later. I'll do you proud, I promise. It's, it's that meme, that saluting meme with the guy who's like screaming and crying. He's like, ah, that's what I'm doing right now. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. We finally are a specter. And we're gonna, we have, this is our baby. Uh, hang on, not, not Tally. Oh, there we go. Now I can inspect this stuff.
Here we go. Anyway, I'm gonna go poke these. Oh, Rex is gonna say something. Ah, I can poke all, I can poke, poke the Normandy. Poker. Let's see, Rex, you wanna say something about my ship? A private docking bay. Oh. <laughs> Wonder how much the Alliance had to shell out for this. Well, look, I, is this not, are they not all like this? <laughs> do they, do you have multiple ships in a, in a docking area? I mean, there's one over there. The Normandy is amazing. Yeah! It's an honor to be among her crew. Tally knows what's up. She knows how to, how to get in my good, my good side even more than she already is. Anyway, I will head off now. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.